how should you prepare for the software engineering, technical interviews, developer interviews, yada yada yada, by coming on this challenge with me. If you can write hello, hello world, hello, hello world, you can change the world. So starting this Monday, let me get the exact date for y'all. The 13th. Yes, yes, yes. We are going on a technical interviews problems binge. So I get a lot of questions on what is the best way to prepare for technical interviews. And recently I got an interesting question of how do you prepare for technical interviews in one month? I wanted to really answer this question properly. However, I felt like I needed to get back in it to answer it properly, if that makes sense. What we're going to do is we're going to use Cracking the Coding Interview Book. We're going to try to get through this entire book in one month. If you don't have the book, that is totally okay. What you should do is just message me in the comments below and then we can connect and I can link you the book. So that is not going to be a barrier for you. So if you haven't heard of the book, Cracking the Coding Interview, that book is like the, uh, the book for people who are studying for the technical interview. And what makes it so great is the way that it's broken down, there's tips and tricks, and there's also great problems in there. And it's not just problems that get you to think, but there's actually problems that you may see in your technical interview. So that's the reason why I wanted to get through that book. And also, for people who actually get a physical copy of the book, I think it will be really great to see that in your hands. I got through all the problems in the book. I don't know, it's just kind of like a vibe. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and get through these problems. So the way the book is arranged, I haven't looked at that book in forever, but it has different chapters that focus on different data structures. And I think it also focuses on different algorithms too in some of the sections, but we are going to get through it. I was looking up how many problems the book has. Well, 189 divided by 30 days equals... Um, <laughs> So 6.3. So that means we'll have to do six, so seven problems, so we really meet our deadline per day. That's a lot of problems. Skirt, 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 skirt. Seven problems a day is a lot. So instead I'm thinking if we do this within 60 days, okay, that's way, well, I guess I didn't have to get a calculator for that. But that's like four problems a day. And when I say do four problems, I know thinking of the algorithms and also coming up with the solutions is a lot of work. So I'm thinking for maybe the easier problems for you, and you guys can decide that, you just write out pseudocode. And for the harder problems, the problems that's harder to come up with the algorithm, those are the solutions that you actually type out, get it to run in your compiler or whatever like IDE that you use. Since we're doing four problems a day, doing all the problems can look different for different people. So for example, for me, I might just write pseudocode for three of the problems and then actually type out the solution for one of the problems. Or if it's like on a Saturday where I have more time, like a weekend, then I might type out all of the solutions for all of the four problems that I'm doing that day. However, no matter what, I can't just look at a problem and in my head think of the solution. Like I need to write out the algorithm or the pseudocode and make sure I understand what it means. But anyways, yeah, so that is a challenge. We're going to do four interview problems a day. I think I want to post my progress on Instagram. So if you don't already follow me, go check out Maya underscore loves underscore code out on Instagram. Because I think through the stories and through my posts, I can actually tell you guys how I'm doing, if I'm keeping up. And I think it's also great that I do this challenge just because I work full time eight hours a day. So it's going to be interesting to see when I find time, how I find time. And also I'm going to be totally real with you guys. Maybe I'm only averaging one question a day. That's all I have time to like fully think of the problem and fully come up with the solution. Then I'm going to tell you guys that. So just to be clear, what this challenge is, is about completing the entire Cracking the Coding interview book. Okay, so I took a look at the book. And I noticed that there were some questions that are like Java, C, C++ related and are not related to Python because I'm going to be doing these interview questions in Python. I have a friend that's going to be using JavaScript. So because of that, I still think maybe this challenge can be completed in one month and it can still be completed doing four problems a day. But we will see.
And through this, I want us to be kind of working on our software engineering toolbox. So I think I was talking to someone in the comments about this. I think it was like Jexbox or Jeshbox, something like that. And we were talking about how like as you do problems, you start to see patterns. And you kind of keep these patterns in your head, like in your toolbox. So when you see the problem again, you know, you know how to attack it. So I think through this challenge, we can start developing it. And I think it's just great to like get through all these problems, at least like first see all these different data structures that you could get. And then after this, of course, we can continue our learning. You know, we can go to Leak Code or whatever website, do PREMP or whatever in order to continue to grow in our knowledge. Tell me what you guys think about this challenge in the comments below. Do you think it's doable to do four problems in a day? Are you interested in the challenge? Are you gonna go on the challenge? Like I really hope that other people do this as well because initially what I wanted to do was kind of film like the behind the scenes documentary of this and just post it online. However, I'm like people won't gain as much if they like if you're interested in technical interviews if you don't go on this challenge with me so yeah so that's how i thought about it let me know if you think this is a good idea let me know if you're like girl like you try to do what what i hope to gain from this is just to better myself better my skills and also this is something that we can go on together and next time when someone asks me the question of how do i prepare for a technical interview in one month i can be like yo let me break it down. I'm super excited for this. If you like this video, please let me know by giving a like and also leaving a comment below. Thank you so much for the support. We got to 500 subscribers. Ah, crazy. I saw that and it's just mind blowing to me. Like, I remember when I was stuck at like 12 subscribers for the longest <laughs> and I was just like, dang, you know. It looks like the 12 of us and two of the counts were mine. The 10 of us were just going to rock out and do this thing. So yeah, so thank you for subscribing. Thank you so much and have a great day.